If you want to find frogs in your local area, don't just rush out unprepared. In this video, you'll learn how to maximise your chances of finding frogs and what equipment to bring. Before you leave the house, take some time to research what frog species live near you. Hop onto the map screen of the Frog Census app and zoom into your local area. You can explore what has been recorded so far. If you're interested in a particular species or time period, use the filter function. If you want even more frog data, you can also use the Atlas of Living Australia to explore multiple data sets in more detail. Knowing what frogs are recorded near you will help you make an educated guess on what frog calls you are hearing in the field. Once you know what frog species are recorded, you will need to understand the right seasonal and weather conditions for frogs to call in. Generally, frogs will increase their calling activity when environmental conditions are favourable for breeding. So autumn and spring months are generally the best time of year to hear the highest diversity of frog species. The Frog Census recommends you go frogging in April, August, October and November when rain is filling breeding ponds and warmer nights are still likely. These months will also ensure you record certain species that only breed in autumn or spring. Once you've selected your month, you need to pick the right weather conditions. Most frogs are generally more active at night time, so if it's safe, try to visit your site after dusk. Check the weather forecast and aim for a warm, humid night after a day of rain. Frogs are more likely to be moving around in these conditions as they are less at risk of dehydration. Finally, try to pick a night with minimal wind. This will make frog calls easier to hear and limit wind noise in your frog call recordings. 